What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are back to watch a movie that I, I've been dying to watch this, Tara. <laughs> I, I, it's been on the top of my list for months. And when you said you hadn't seen it, I yeah. said, come over tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are, finally going to watch this Freaky Friday. You it is not weird that I have not seen this because I've heard a lot about it. And then I saw the article come out that they're going to put out another one with the same cast. I'm excited. Guys, you know what to do. Leave a like. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And ring the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, 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 oh. Follow Tara Erickson on her YouTube channel where she does reactions as well over there. Thank you to all who have followed us on our Patreon page, becoming super sexy rejects. Over there, we do full length reaction watch alongs. We sync up with your own copy of Freaky Fighters. You can watch the whole thing with us on cut, and uh, we cover plenty of things over there exclusively with the reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Tara, you ready to get freaky? I'm ready to get free. I burped during that sentence, so that means I'm extra ready to you get freaky. Are not a woman. My body is ready. My mind is ready. The burps are ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. What an interesting choice for yeah, the opening like, these pictures. Are, like, yeah, this is a vibe right here. Happy together. Uh, Six o'clock time. It's too early. That's when the switch should happen. I like the switch in music to represent the generations. <laughs> <laughs> Get acquainted with the routine. So I'm just gonna get a little stud right here, okay? No, I don't want my maid of honor looking like a little harlot. Maid of honor? <laughs> Everyone's got one. Everyone. Harry, everyone has I one. I can't believe you. You're ruining my life. End of discussion. Feet down. You, you women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kill me. Anna, what? I can't believe it. It's he's Jake. in this. Is that Chad Michael Murray? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I think he's gonna talk to you. Shut up. That smolder, he was oh, so skinny. Hello. He's in high school, you pervert. <laughs> Sorry. He's still cute. Why would I want a leprechaun ice sculpture? Not even Irish. Could you hold on a second? Whoa, we should be okay, looking at the road. Come <laughs> we on. almost hit that pedestrian. We really are. Somebody's going to die here. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. A lot of embarrassing moments up top here. An F. Sweet choker, though. <gasps> oh, creepy teacher. <laughs> you completely missed the point of the book. It is a blatant attack on totalitarianism. About a rigid society dominated by one all-powerful, ego-tripping dictator. My grade is final. Except he had hair. Oh. Oh, no, he's your teacher, girl. And up! <laughs> Do you have to wear a clipboard that says detention on it? You're counting the minutes, aren't you? No. How many minutes are left? 54. Mm. Right, this morning was good, but then I got up. <laughs> that sounds like my every day. <laughs> then I got up. <laughs> you know, I'm oh surprisingly good at volleyball. Oh my god, hit her in the head. Yeah, come on now. Clobber her. Oh, nice. Concussion. Turkey meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Yes, Elizabeth, I'll be at the appointment tomorrow. And Elizabeth, remember, you are a smart, strong, beautiful, independent woman, and you don't need a man to complete you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> a guitar pick. Uh, are they gonna vibe over music? So you in a band? Sorta. What do you mean sorta? Uh, well, you know, we're still stuck in our garage phase. Uh, well, if you ever get out of the garage, let me know. You go to his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? You want to ride? For yeah, sure. Like Here you go. You can wear my extra helmet. A Ducati? How does he afford that? He's in high school. You like the hives? They're awesome. 
Well, look, I've got this import. I was thinking maybe if you wanted to, we could get together and Coleman. check it out. Oh. Ugh. A C block. Oh, and he's gone. He's gone. Just like so that. So dreamy. Off into the sunset. Is this an original song? Sounds like it. Oh, sweetheart. Um, all right, ready? Gonna... Kind of deserved it. He was playing drums on her guitar. Is she divorced or is the dad dead? <laughs> Great question. What? <gasps> I thought I'd get the author to sign it. What? I thought I'd ask the I can't author. I hear you. <laughs> Damn, she really learned how to play guitar? I don't know. I don't think that's her. There's no way. Oh, that is. Oh. That is mean. Time's up. It's after six. Rude. Come on, Mom, let us rock. One of the bands dropped out of the Wangle Tango auditions, and we are the first alternate. Oh, Shut up! Oh, no. Jamie Lee, you better not sabotage better us for get her. get it together. Tomorrow's Friday, so that's my mom's rehearsal dinner. Anna, come on, this is really important. So is her mom's rehearsal yeah. dinner. Yeah, she getting married, y'all. We're screwed. Yep. Yeah. You know, her mom puts so much attention into helping her patients, but is neglecting <laughs> her family's emotional needs. Emotional well-being. When is this conflict with Stacy Hinkhouse going to end? Never. Because she's an insane psycho freak. And you'd know that if you paid like a speck of attention. Yeah. You got an F in English today? Well, Mr. Bates is out to get me. You know, he just looks for ways to torture me. Like today, the one time Jake even spoke to me, he totally... Who's Jake? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. He's just this really amazing guy, Mom. Where'd you meet him? Detention, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, outside of detention. Oh, is it like a fortune cookie situation? Oh, that would be awesome. I'll try and do better, Mom. I'll really, really try. All right, what do you want? To go to this really important audition <laughs> that we're having tomorrow night that we can never have again at the House of Blues. Anna, I need to talk to you right Yuck. now. I think I'm going to pass on that. Now! Why are you getting so serious? Let's talk about it. I really want to understand. I really do want to understand, Anna. Oh, Mama, stay out of it, please. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Love it. They're interfering. They're meddling. Anna, high school is not that hard. You couldn't last one day in my high school. <gasps> oh, Challenge I, accepted. I felt it. You think my life is perfect? Oh, I know your life is perfect. Your perfect job, perfect boyfriend, perfect patient. You worship the ground, you oh, honey. You you're about to learn so much. You are not going to the audition. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Why not? Because I said so. Cookie. Damn. Uh huh. You're all right. Name Jim Backlit. Queen Buhane. Name Jim Backlit. Queen Buhane. Name Jim Backlit. Queen Buhane. Okay. Okay. Thank you. She's going to be begging to get back to Stacy in volleyball after one minute in her mom's life. Journey soon begins. Its prize reflected in another's eyes. When what you see is what you lack, and selfless, selfless love, love will change, change you back. back. Oh, whatever. <laughs> They didn't even have to eat it. Whoa! Honey? You okay? Yeah. <sighs> Everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, well, it's just, just them. them. Okay. An earthquake. Oh, an earthquake? No, there was no oh, earthquake. Uh, you didn't feel it? No. I don't think so. It was an emotional metaphor. Interesting. Spooky. So the Chinese woman's the villain. <laughs> <laughs> cool <laughs> shot. How does that keep going? That's cool. Uh, so the switch must have happened already. Let the games begin. Break it act two. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Better get up. I'd better. Why am I? Room. <laughs> Hannah, come here quick! What? Mom's dead! 
I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> oh, could I just have like one minute? Uh oh. Honey, look, I think something's happened to us. What are you? <laughs> oh my god. This is my mother? That's so I good. Am. Get away, you clone freak! <laughs> Look at me! I know, we oh, seem to be inside I'm each old! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like the Crypt Keeper! <laughs> 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 I want my body back! And I don't want mine! My wedding's tomorrow! Uh, I can't marry Ryan! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> You're in my body and I'm in your body! Why don't we like a jolt? Okay, you go over there and I go over here. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Go. I am on the Oh, God. Oh. Ouch. Um, I was just teaching mom some new dance moves. What do you want, punk? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Huh. I'll take it. Ah. <laughs> Sweetheart. What are you doing here? I thought you said you needed a ride to work. Mom, I guess you better hurry up. Get a grip. I am not. Go to work. I will go to school and you will stay right. Oh. What? Evan. Evan? Who's Evan? Oh, my neediest patient. I've been seeing him every day for the past three years. That's not healthy. I mean, what am I supposed to say to the freak? Nothing. You are in no way to give anyone any advice. That would be unethical. Just listen attentively, not occasionally. <laughs> you really want us to be each other? Well, we will get through this morning as each other, and then we will go back to the restaurant at lunch and get switched back. Now go get dressed. They're really good at this switcheroo. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> you pierced your navel? Yeah, I meant to talk to you about that. When did you do this? At Maddie's cousin Sweet Sixteen. Is she wearing? Oh, she's, <laughs> what is she doing? And what are you doing? I don't know why you never wear these. They're so uh, cute. Uh, oh Jeff, you're selling Bible. Oh <laughs> my God. What's that? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> So good. While I'm apologizing, let me just say to the whole car how truly Core. sorry I am for being such an insane control freak all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who should be apologizing for my flagrant disregard for anyone's feelings but my own. <laughs> mm. <Ooh. laughs> yeah. Kiss him. Great, we're getting married, isn't it? Uh. Even though my husband died. How quickly I've been able to get over it. Just pull up here. <gasps> oh, sick burn. You managed to alien Ryan in my body. Oh, be nice. But don't kiss him. <laughs> oh, Mom, I just had breakfast. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> She's great at this. Ooh. Can I go? Hi, what are you so anxious about? Hey, Anna. Do you know him? Um, uh oh. I know. Uh, that's Jake. No. No. <laughs> no. Why I give him a chance? That is the last thing I'm going to give him. Just look at him. You don't even know it. I know he's too old for you. Oh my God, he's coming over here. Say hi back. No. Say hi back. Or I'm going to break up with Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mother, Dr. Coleman. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I've ever been on it. I'm not allowed. <laughs> oh. I mean, I I'm allowed because I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Bye. Oh, <laughs> I've got the highs for you. I didn't know if you knew, but they're coming to town next week. I was wondering if maybe you wanted to. Oh, that's a really nice thought. And I'm sure with a haircut, you'd look quite 
presentable. <laughs> Truth be told, you're way too old for me. You're sabotaging this. He's so cute and he brought you a CD. Oh, I hate Stacy. Oh, nice stunt. So, we saw you. Tell me what. Would Jake give us the dirty details? Excuse me? <laughs> I don't believe in physical contact with the opposite sex. <laughs> ah. Oh, girls, my goodness. Would you to follow my example? No. <laughs> They're both so good. <laughs> oh, it's so great. You need a ride home or are you going to pick up the Volvo? Most definitely be picking up the Volvo. Ha. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Oh, I love it. Hey. Shopping spree. Yeah. Oh, uh. Tell me all the things I want to hear. Whoa. Oh, she's going all oh, out. Oh, my goodness. Full on makeover. Oh. Ah. <laughs> nice. Oh, my goodness. The day of the rehearsal dinner. You look fantastic. Why? Are you canceling the session? No, Kevin. Evan. 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 So, oh, so you don't answer your phone. I told you I wouldn't be able to call you on your honeymoon, but you lied to me. You're a liar. I'll get it. Oh, my God. It's insufferable. $10,000 for what? <sighs> what kind of caterer are you? It's disgusting. So, Ethan. Evan! Evan, I knew that. I just getting worked up with all that phone ringing. Yeah. <laughs> and she's... <laughs> Not gonna be any food at the wedding. I've seen him That's before. Where have I seen him? Like every day in this torture chamber? Oh my god, did Bates have a crush on the mom? What are the central conflicts in Hamlet? Well, political, of course. Because Claudius usurped his father's throne. Edible, because of the undercurrents with his mother. <laughs> nice. Is he really seeing his father's ghost, or is he simply mad? That is seriously overreaching. <laughs> what a dick. I hate him. Depressed. You know, I got Not a good look for people who are looking to go to betterhelp.com slash rejects. <laughs> I'm concerned, doctor, that she and this boy might be, you know. Stop. Stop. Nothing is going on between her and this guy. Because if there was, she wouldn't be writing about it in her diary. She'd be out there doing it. <laughs> <laughs> And he probably even flirted with her a little bit. But he secretly likes your daughter. He just hasn't made his move yet because that wouldn't be cool. So now her best friend is acting like some psycho freak. <laughs> Interesting. I never would have thought about it that way. Cool. Guess we're done. Oh, God. They're going to be financially broke. Bates. Elton Bates. Griffith High School. Yeah. How do you know that? Well, you asked me. I mean, my mom. He did. <laughs> yeah. uh... This is not an appropriate And now you're taking it out on her daughter, aren't you? Aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. It was a high school dance. I mean, you've got to let it go and move on, man. I'm sure the school board would love to hear about your pathetic vendetta against an innocent student. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't think Elton Bates will be giving me much trouble anymore. It's so weird about your mom. Oh, yeah, what did she say? That what? <laughs> uh, that's great. <laughs> Well, it is her rehearsal dinner. I mean, don't you think that's rather important, too? Don't give us this, Anna. She is totally ruining our lives. You are the culprit. <laughs> if it were any other night but tonight. Whatever, it... Anna. I don't think the rehearsal dinner is a good idea, considering the current plight you're in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Get out of the car. I'm driving. You done to me. Do you like it? Get out of the car right now. Do you have your permit? <laughs> you cannot eat fast food. Why not? Because it will go down your throat and drop instantly to my thigh. This food may make you blow up like a balloon, but it will do nothing whatsoever to me. Oh, mom. No, there's long-term effects. 
Oh god, this is good. Mom, that's not fair. My first french fry in eight years. Oh, how eight sad. years? She is not living. <laughs> Whoa. When we woke up this morning, we weren't ourselves. Yeah. Oh, Mama. Uh-oh. This has happened before. What did you say? Oh, <laughs> she's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when the fortune come true, then you go back, okay? No big deal. How about 10% off caterer? No, Pepe, I already told you we have a caterer. Actually, Mom, there's something I forgot to tell you. Good no. idea. How about I do? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be at Harry's school in 15 minutes. No! My 18 year old. You have to go. Huh. Mom? Yeah. The different she walks. <laughs> he is a sweet boy. But he's having a little trouble with bullies. So? That's character building. <laughs> uh, you know, he's very good in English. I um, I had the class write an essay on who they admire most, and he wrote a wonderful paper about your daughter. Wow, what? Aww. 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 <laughs> sings in a band. That's so sweet. She showed me the paper you wrote about Anna. You saw that? Mm-hmm. Well, don't tell her I like her. <laughs> Because we have too much fun fighting. <laughs> that is so touching. I love that. Why does this have to be World War Three? I mean, all of those years of trick-or-treating and sleepovers. Sit with me. Communication. That's all it takes. Oh, God. Uh. There you are. <gasps> oh, you again. Look at you. You again? <laughs> Great dress. You're sexy. Uh, losing sore. I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was amazing. Still got your eyes closed. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Right. She's going to be on a show. You're on the Dottie Robertson show. Can you because We're uh, ready for you now, Dr. Coleman. I know you get nervous, but you're going to be great. Oh no, you want to prepare for something like this. You don't surprise someone with a television appearance. Yeah. What is this thing? Through the looking glass, senescence. Senescence? Seeny sincy. Seeny sincy. Miss Brown, she's copying my test. Stacy. What a bitch. Stacy gets detention. I hope Stacy gets beheaded. Loved your book. I actually read this one. <laughs> I actually uh, read this one. No. What got you interested in the physical and intellectual exhaustion that seems to overcome those of us who are, let's say, no longer 20? <laughs> uh. Senescence like senile. Old people. Got it, got it. <laughs> uh. That's cruel, but do it. Stacy's been Chad, so mean. Show your stand-up guy, Chad Michael Murray. She had her chance. <laughs> do you want to know why adults are so tired all the time? Because they spend all their time obsessing about these stupid, lame things they don't really have to do. Oh. Huh. Like a cooking. Have you never heard of takeout? And cleaning. Let's don't and say we did. And quality time. <laughs> it's called reading between the lines. Oh my God. Let's just say this cute guy asks you out. What are you gonna do? Uh. I'm serious, this guy's hot. What are you gonna do? God, your mom's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's great. I mean, I saw what you did to Stacy's test. I think you're right. You're too young for me. But, but I don't even know why I did that. I mean, it's really not like me, honestly. Good luck, Anna. All right. Stand up guy, leaving her in the dust. That guy doesn't exist. Can I have a uh, quad shot caramel latte? 
This is Coleman? What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing here? I work here. <sighs> hey, you know, I caught the show. And you were... You were great. Oh my god, he's gonna be in her. <laughs> oh! Yes. <laughs> you like the vines? I got the bootlegs. Shut up. Ha! <laughs> 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 that kid is so cute. Oh my gosh, they're falling in love. You should be working. Yeah, what are you doing? Just sitting down? Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Uh, this is so awkward. I feel like I know you. I have to go. Really, I just... Please. Just please. Anna, oh get my gosh. now. Oh my gosh. Let me at least give you a ride. Are they gonna kiss? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No! That is a bad situation. What you were doing on the eve of our wedding? Straddling some guy on the back of a big black Harley. Hello, the Ducati, it was sir. A Ducati. <laughs> uh. My mom wouldn't let me go out with him, so I just had to beg her to check him out for me. And she did. <laughs> He's a very together young man, and she approves. Really? <laughs> uh. Oh no, that's oh. so awkward. And I, I must confess, I still believe. That is so awkward. I, I know it's unconventional, okay? And I know nothing can happen. I'm not stupid. I just. You're behaving pretty stupid. I want to be able to talk to her. Do, do you know not what? come near my mother or her fiance. Do you understand? Man, I don't understand anything. Uh. You really need to find someone your own age. Promise you'll leave my mother alone. That's awkward. That guy's a creep. Very <laughs> I awkward. Would not date that guy. He's <laughs> creepy. He's obsessed. Let's try to be selfless. Give me your hands. Okay, I'm being selfless. Are you being selfless? Yeah, I'm being selfless. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm really sorry, but couldn't we just borrow Anna for like 20 minutes? We'd never ask you or like anybody for anything ever again. I am appalled at you two. I clearly said... Go. Uh, oh, nice guy. What are you still doing here? Go, right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's gonna be terrible. The role of insensitive stepfather who couldn't care less or thinks it's a stupid rock band or any of the preposterous things you just said. I'm not that guy, Tess, and if that's who you think I am, then this is never gonna work. Wow. Good for you. I never pushed Anna because I want her to like me on her own terms, in her own way. You should be over there. Aww. Go. I can hold down the fort here for 20 minutes. Where's your... That's so sweet. Should have given a big kiss on the lips. It's your only <laughs> chance, only chance to experience your fantasy. <laughs> okay, I know it. You're running away from him. Jake, if you like me at all, you will just leave me alone. Yeah, but please, no. Creep. From right here in Los Angeles, let's give it up for Pink Slip. Oh, my God. Get uh, on the stage, Mom. Yeah, come on now. Yeah. Oh, God. At least fake it. Come on now. On and on and on. Oh God. Go, get on the stage. Come on. Save the day. Run, Jamie. This is humiliating. Just go out there and act like Keith. Keith, right? Yeah. Richard, mom. I knew that. All right, just go act like Keith. Act like Keith. Act like Keith. I'm plugged you. Are you gonna play it backstage? Yeah, I think so. She better. Come on. Come on, man. You're getting me so stressed Let's out. Let's go. You're stressing me out. Hey. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thank God. I'm in love with you now. <laughs> yeah.
That one part of the solo saved this whole performance. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting to hear music. It's not noise. Most well, definitely not noise. Aww. Selfless love. Switch. Yo, My dude, God, that get, quickly he you, changes his gotta mind to all, Anna. Got to get a life, <laughs> buddy. Yeah, yeah, like what are you doing? Don't you have like parties to go to? I need you to tell Ryan that you need to postpone the wedding. I can see you're not ready for this, and I can wait. I guess that I was just so happy. I wasn't thinking about what's best for you and Harry. Oh. Just please let him know that I love him, and be as kind as you possibly can for me. That audition got her this job. Not the years of work she already had on her belt. Good job, Lindsay. <laughs> Newcomer Lindsay Lohan. Bingo, baby. Now I know how Anna feels. And and what she feels is that no one uh, could ever take the place of her dad. But somebody could uh, be part of a new family. Its own kind of cool new little unit. That for someone as special as Ryan, that we would all just make a little room. Earthquake. Uh, whoa, now they all felt it. Ah, cool shot. Uh. Love it. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Trust me, you don't want to know. A Chinese woman done good. <laughs> done good, Chinese woman. <laughs> and it's catering by them, <laughs> <She's> too. <laughs> Thank you for everything. I love you. I love you, too. God. <laughs> Do you think we could just rewind this whole thing and start again? I like that. He has like the tiniest little scruff right here. <laughs> <laughs> Both you and your mom know what it's like to kiss this guy. Awkward. You go ask her then, you old fart. Hey, now wait a minute. Wait, if I was your age, oh. Cookie? Well, I, well yes, I don't mind. Uh oh. Put that cookie down. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yay. Oh, damn. She gets to perform at the wedding. That's what I'm talking about, people. As far as the guy directed it, only women can direct other women, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know that was, was a really fun movie. Super fun. I had a great time. The The kid thing was weird. I forget what his name is. I'm just going to call him Chad Michael. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. part is weird. But the rest of it is great. Super fun. They did such a good job playing each other. Like... So funny to see Jamie Lee Curtis play Lindsay Lowe. I think I vice versa. I I, I think I because movie's been out for a long time. Um, I think the one th one of the things I heard about it was that when they did this movie, they had each other like record how they would do the lines. Oh, and they and just did them that way to take some inspiration from how they might. Oh, I don't know if I'm making that up. That's <laughs> so, great and very helpful. Yeah, um, yeah. I if I, if that is true, uh, you know, comment it in the comment boxes. I'm pretty sure that is something I heard that they actually did for it. Smart. Um, but yeah, I thought they did an excellent job. But no, this is because you know, like uh, the body swap comedy kind of hor uh, horror movies. The body swap comedy movies uh, is a really fun genre, but a lot of times they they can't really go well. But like it's, pull it off, right? Yeah, yeah. They kind of just go for like. R bits like raunchy bits <laughs> or yeah. something like that um i don't know if raunchy is the right word but they usually just go for bits but here they really had a they had a really solid set set up at the beginning of really getting you to understand who they are in act one so that way when the switcheroo did happen you you could uh feel the the tension of the situations they'd be thrusted into yeah throughout the journey and it just had a really good heart throughout it yes. with like amazing performances I agree. The heart in it, like when, um, oh, when the the kid shows his paper, his paper is about his sister. Mm -hmm. And then when Jamie comes out and is like, oh, I thought that was just so sweet. Don't tell her I like her. That's yeah. such a sweet moment just to set up like 
the kid, it's not like he was forgotten about, but their relationship was covered between him and his sister. And then, um, obviously, at the end, when she's, like, crying and I'm going to do this selfless thing for you, it's super That brought sweet. me to tears. Yeah, I um, teared up, too. Yeah, yeah, that was really touching. Super, so sweet. And for their ability to switch in and out of care to, to play both characters and really feel both the emotions, I was like, that, yeah. that is an impressive an impressive like crying scene to pull off that i was like dang (laughs) like yeah both of them i mean obviously outstanding actors in their own right but like in this was i've never even have you seen the parent trap i've never seen the parent trap either i I might not have i'm I'm looking at her face going like have i seen this movie i'm gonna cover Lindsay lohan's career backwards yes (laughs) now let's see her when she was like five see how she did that i bet you she's awesome i don't know if i've seen the parent trap honestly Uh, yeah have i would i remember would that be a movie where it's like i've definitely seen the parent trap uh maybe would that be one of those movies because right now i'm like i don't think i saw it uh 1998 i would you would you would have been at least Very 30 young. 32 at the time. Yeah. Um, around there. <laughs> so it's around that around that age. Yeah. And you know. Maybe a little younger. People lose their memory 29. as they get into their senior years. Yeah, so, senile. It happens. As they discuss in this movie <laughs> yeah, and we're sauce. discussing now. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. What would be the sequel to this though? Would, would it be them switching I bodies? feel like they would just be aren't they just I mean, are they just going to like redo it? Yeah, but like, what, like would, a, what would be the purpose of them redoing it? Because this is kind of like a perfect film in a lot of ways. Oh, other, uh, other than some creepy undertones that they got <laughs> that they got older and they lost touch with each other as as maybe mom and daughter and daughter gets distracted with life and I'm married now and I have kids and mom is still married with husband and whatever and they've grown apart and now ah. they must intervene again to be like mother and daughter have to come back to be like mother and daughter again like closer. Oh. I, that's how I would play it. So it's not the same movie. It's still the same actors are going to use, right? Yeah. So, like, that would be a good way. Like, they've lost touch, and the, so it has to happen for them to, like, come back together. Or it could be uh, a commentary on today's climate when it comes to the discourse that some people have around uh, the trans community and seeing, like, how topical they can make it. That's true. Meaning, like... You know, switching body. Right. <laughs> I just wanted this video to take a very different direction. Gregory! And see how far we can push a subject. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like in the movie, they're both femi- female identifying females. So I was I don't lost. Know, they, might, they might just be in the movie, but it might focus on different lost. characters. Okay. All right. Well, there he had his take. And uh, I had mine. I mine just was want, better. I want it to be political. The next one, I want it to have. He wants it to I, be I political to so badly. Serious commentary and then, serious consequences. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, life or death stakes. This yeah. Time. I mean, I think you can make this like a dark psychological thriller. They always make these body swap movies like comedies, and I think you can make this one like a, a thriller. You know. Yeah, like get rid of the like the fun, like the fun heartfelt like. Mm-hmm, good times and just make it like dark and like something that you think about when you leave the movie theater for like hours yeah yeah. like it messes with your psyche like truly stepping into the mindset of the other person Mm -hmm. and discovering their emotions and the term like really uncover the turmoil Turmoil must be like what's in their brain Mm -hmm. or not you can just keep it cute that's disney you know how they do i mean i would take either honestly yeah well, anyway, we'll transition back to sincerity for a second here. Sure. Um, the Chinese people that could have been racist, they handled it well. well yes, like, yeah, they, they did. I mean, I don't know if people would still find it racist or not. But I was like, probably. Where are we yes. going with this? They'd be like, oh, they're in the typical role of where Chinese people don't understand <laughs> things, and they just like give fortune white cookie people spell. fortune cookies <laughs> to like make them. Yes, people are going to be like, this is out of touch, but. Um, they were both very funny. I Great just, actresses. I like seeing older movies in the lens of how today would find things oh, problematic. Today would go absolutely not. When I watch it and I'm like, I have no issues with anything right. of what they did here. Even Chad Michael Murray and his creepiness. I'm just right. like, it's just amusing it's to me. It's just a movie. The Chinese stuff. I'm like, it's amusing. It's uh, yeah. they, they can't really do that now. 
But I would love, I love, I love when they, like movies like this get discovered on Twitter today and go, oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 how dare they? People like lose it. I'm like, well, it was fun. I had fun watching. Even it. the cliche of how they, of how uh, therapy has been viewed so much in, in film through so much of, so much of the years of like only, only like truly troubling, crazy, distraught people attend right. therapy. Right. You know? Yeah, and absolutely. Right. <laughs> and it's, it's really just like normal people day yeah. to day who are like, I need somebody to talk to. When really this is just an, a comedy <laughs> from a couple of decades yeah. ago. I'm just preparing for. You know how some people I are going to view it. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. I, I wonder if, if it has had any type of turn like that. But it is kind of fun to see to pick and choose which films are now problematic. It has. This hasn't happened with Freaky Friday yet. I just think it's funny that I could totally see a scenario where it could happen one day. Well, yeah, if they replayed the same games and. In the new one, which they're <laughs> yeah. not gonna do that. You should do it exactly the same. Make them even more Chinese, <laughs> like more Chinese stereotypes. Uh, <laughs> that would be hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I, I, I wrote it all. <laughs> I wanted to be sincere, and then I just gonna do it. I, I did think this Couldn't was actually this. This lived up to what I wanted to be, and it had more. It had more uh, emotion than I actually anticipated. Expected. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be corny, like campy comedy. Uh, and it actually had a lot of heart. Like the ending, I was like, uh, award-winning performances here. Yeah. I believe both of them so much dropped into those characters, and like, it was just great. I, f- I was there with them, and they made me feel, and I liked that. And other than the exceptionally wild understanding and forgiveness that the fiancé Ryan has. Right. Other than that, I still really appreciated. Because at the end of the day, it's a certain kind of movie and you got a certain kind of tone that allows you to get away with certain kind of things, certain kind of behaviors like that. I still really appreciate his height in their switch bodies. So with Ryan, of how they did turn him into, like he evolved as a character throughout it and, and yeah. his intentions and what, like, what he really wanted out of this relationship, how that came to light and how he helped motivate the, not only his relationship with Jamie Lee Curtis, but also, um, the daughter by proxy helping to change his relationship with the daughter yeah uh, i thought it was really well done i thought it was a great handle and like how you brought the scene with the brother in in the parent teacher conference yeah uh, of giving like a deeper understanding like what's going on underneath the surface of these characters so for a movie that has your your uh your your lead character as a psychologist it is fun to see a movie that does explore with like our four characters what's going on underneath the surface and even with chad michael murray at first going Oh, let's not judge this guy right off the bat. It's just some like cool rebel on a bike. Right. He's actually a really like uh, a guy looking for love so much so that, that he will he can get very toxic and dangerous apparently. <laughs> He's so desperate for love. <laughs> that, there's something that, that is, there's something seriously off about him in this movie. A little bit. Yeah. It's creepy. I also. <laughs> He it's keeps saying it's creepy. It's, cre- it's creepy. It's a little, it is so. It's aggressive. How they, it's aggressive. It, 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 and how they frame it, though, like in the movie, you just like totally accept that like the next day he's just fine and likes Anna, even though he has no idea that they switch bodies. Like, yeah. I, I, I find that where I'm just like, oh, okay, but it's a movie and you accept it. Um, I think it's just played for it's played for so much romance. And you're supposed to root for you're it. You're supposed to, but you're like you just got <laughs> over her mom two seconds ago. Yeah, you were outside the house last night singing to her and upset she was going you're, to you're get married. Trying to sabotage you, you crashed yeah, the rehearsal the, dinner. Right, like that. That's a pretty intense thing. I would have liked it more <laughs> if it, it was a flip of like. He is now distraught, and he's like, "I'll, I'll, I like you, but I'll, I'll always love your mom." Yeah. See ya. And he like rides off on the Ducati, and no one's ever seen him again. That would be uh, preferred, in my opinion. And then she just is like, Anna's there, and she dances with her little brother. Oh yeah, because that would be sweet. Because now she would know. No, she yeah. wouldn't know. Would she know? She does know about the letter. And then maybe he swoops in because the grandpa's like, go to this and go to dance. But then this Anna comes in. She's like, hey, kid, like, you want to yeah. dance? And then they dance and that's sweet. And then forget about Ducati guy because he's kind of nuts, fell in love with the mom. And now brother and sister, we see it again that they are now going to have a better relationship because he, because of the letter. That's a good and that you're welcome. I mean, hey, stick me in the writer's room and call it a day, <laughs> yeah. kid. Would have brought it back around to that storyline, too. That's not bad, Tara. 
That's not, not bad. bad. You're an inventive human being. Thank you so much. Creative. Yeah. I hope our comments about Chad Michael Murray's character mm-hmm. overshadow everyone Every- first going, wow, I really love Greg and Tara's reaction to this. <laughs> And then they're like, no, how dare you <laughs> make fun of <laughs> make fun of Chad. The, the very obviously like, creepy guy. <laughs> he just shouldn't have ended up with her, I think, at the end. Yeah, it's like, it's you just, were in love with her mom two seconds ago. Yeah. There's like, no. He's being tossed around. I'm like, why are you so in love? Like, why are you like so, so le- in love? If you look at the timeline, guys, he had just met properly Anna. Mm-hmm. Thursday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thursday. Yes. Right? It was yes. Thir- he met her yes, Thursday. Yes, like two days. <laughs> yes. And then Friday, he's just like hunting them down. <laughs> and the next day, he's like, I love you now, Anna. Also, how did he not get fired from serving her coffee? And then he just sat down <laughs> during his place of work and nobody was like, hey, buddy, get back to work. I'm like, that was that could have been a little bit of a goal, like comedy gold line where someone's like, Hey man, what are you doing? Like, yeah. you're supposed to be. They, we got a line back here. And he's a senior, and is he, I'm assuming. Well, no, he's, yeah, I don't think he's a senior. He just like works there, right? Because he, I was confused when he's like, I just work here, I, and I'm like, he had a teacher's key. Yeah. You don't give that to students, right? Or unless he's a senior that also works there. I don't know. It's complicated. They should have explained. We got to look at a look. Uh, Everything I that mean, we're supposed to love about this movie, we love. We love. I love. I, I. I. This I is lo- a lot of fun. I love this movie. This <laughs> I is thought a it was great, great. It's great. There's we're just a lot of questions about stuff. Chad Michael Murray's, Murray's character. character that I'm like he. Yeah. <laughs> he. Yeah. Yeah. Questions. <laughs> I can't even get all the words out. Uh, I typed in Chad Michael Murray on Wikipedia when I meant to type in Freaky what Friday. What is he up to now? Damn, he is a handsome guy, though. My God. He is a very attractive man. I mean, if man. there's some guy who you can accept for being a... Uh, no, 2003. Okay. All right. Let's uh, okay. zoom Are in they going to like... Okay. We're going to try to learn about this. All right. Okay. Uh, what, what's the earthquake, name? blah, blah, blah. Talk show psychology. Like, Where's his name? He's not in here. He's not. They, they removed him from the Wikipedia. Okay, in his let's head. look up his character name, and then we're gonna. They don't have like a list of characters. Well, they might. Jesus. We're gonna put it at the bottom, at the bottom of that paragraph. There it is. They go, yeah. Okay, his name is is Jake. All right, let's type in Jake here. Okay, Jake knows his ass. He get it. Huh? Okay, and then Ray Joe watched the interview on television. She doesn't say what he does. He loses his enamoration towards Anna. After she sabotages Stacy's test. Okay, we got to see if there's anyone else on the internet that has thought Jake, Jake in is fr- in Freaky Friday. Friday is Cre- is a still one of them is a student. Is a student? That's one yeah, of their questions. Is he a student? Because we would love to know. Um, eighteen or nineteen, and he does act immature, so it makes he does. He didn't though. Okay, it's not made clear. What is the age, age difference? difference between... She's 15. He works at her school. <laughs> so this has been. <laughs> See, this you know, has been. Oh, been, oh, my God. We have been stuck on. He's obsessed. <laughs> we have. We've barely even scratched the surface on. How old is this guy? Actually, I guarantee you there is a Reddit forum <laughs> that just discusses all of this. Yeah, there's a lot of people. OK, wasn't yeah. just an older guy at school. He worked for the school, which is why he had access. And they're like, that's weird. People yeah. are saying it's weird. Okay, yeah, we're not the only ones who we're thought this. We're not the only ones. People think it's weird. All it right. is weird. Like, how are you... Stop hitting on high school students if you work there. How old are you, sir? That's true. I assume he was just, like, 19. Like, it wasn't that crazy. But still, I'm like, what's... I mean, the, f- what the when you're f- 15 and 19 is a... That's a big that's difference. A big she difference. was 15. Yeah, because she wasn't, like, a senior. Yeah, you're right. I mean, just yeah. get out of here, kid. Stop hitting on the girls at school. Yeah, it's creepy. You work there? Bring him back in the sequel and acknowledge all this. Put him in jail. Lock him <laughs> lock, up. Lock him up. Make that's what the sequel should be about. They, Jake in jail. They find and he body swaps with someone. He's in jail. Oh man, there's a lot of like he's, some, lot. he's someone's bitch and he body swaps with that person in jail. <laughs> that would be great. No, because then he, you have to like. Then you're like in jail. There's no campy, fun comedy really in jail. Yeah, I There's think you some can stuff. make something that is tonally confusing. 
Yeah. Where you're like, I don't know if I should be laughing at this right or, now. Or, right, or crying, laughing or crying. That's a good place to put an audience in, right? Yeah. Where they're like, I'm not sure. Yeah. On the edge of my seat. Should I have brought my children <laughs> to yeah. watch this movie? <laughs> <laughs> or a box of tissues. <laughs> we don't know. But, uh, yeah, Lindsay Lohan, it's great. <laughs> She's so good. In that scene, I'm like, dang, all right, Lindsay, I believe She's great. They're both yeah. so good in this. She's a great actress. It's like crazy how Yeah. It's I think that it's crazy how much she like missed out on continuing to act. I know she had a recent like Netflix Christmas movie. I didn't watch it. Sorry. I heard it's but, good. Uh, okay, it's I good. Seen it. I haven't seen it yet. That I'm like, "Oh, maybe she's like back in the back in the swing of things. She mm-hmm. just was gone for so long and she is she is great. I get how it would be hard being a a child actress cuz the parent trap popped up, and I'm like, she looks five, and yeah. I don't think I've seen that movie. So that means she's been acting forever. Oh yeah, no, I think it's uh, it, it, you have. I think you have to really protect a child actor who becomes famous. Yeah, every kid Difficult. on Stranger Things, it's I like, have been gravely concerned about oh, since that yeah. show who got yeah. popular. Uh, yeah, you have to really protect it. It's growing up in the spotlight like that. I just it, it's it, tough. It's really, really that that is that is hard, and, and, and it's so isolating too, in the sense of. A lot of people would assume, like, well, no, they, they're the kid with the greatest life. They get the fame and the fortune at such a young age, and so that it's even more, it's easier to be misunderstood. And, and right. then you also have a harder time adapting to real life and understanding people's motives and what they might want from you. And, and you know, like, it, it, there's so many terrible things that I could imagine creates this snowball effect. Oh, yeah. Uh, um. So, yeah, I... I I, I totally sympathize. And you're not that. as well equipped at that age to deal with, like, the emotional... Um sort of torture of like feedback on you and your career and the choices that you've made and are you a good actor or not like that's a lot for a kid to handle because emotionally you're not and your brain is not fully equipped either and then when you're a child actor especially you know now we try to embrace like oh look how real they are on social media there's only a certain extent people can be real on social media right yeah but when you're a child actor they really like freaking program you to how to behave around people in total uh, beyond just how you are on set. Like, they yeah. really program you on that. Like, that's where the cliches of, like, stage moms come from and how to be around casting directors and adults and how to present yourself in public and, and all these things. Like, yeah. adults get that with publicists, but it's different when you're learning to navigate it then. When you're a kid, it's like you feel like you always have to be a certain way, so... You're always yeah. kind of handled. Yeah. But yeah. here she felt like such a real teenager, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, it, it felt so... It felt so real... And and I respected it a lot. And Jamie Lee Curtis, because um, I thought at the at the beginning, I really think like Jamie Lee Curtis, like I mean, she's Jamie Lee Curtis, one of the best actresses of all time. Like right off the bat, she just nailed the switch, the body oh, switch. Oh God! Right away. Like just all of her nuances, so good. Because they actually played. It really felt like they were making the the effort to play the characters versus. You know, let me just play this like a fifteen year old. Have you seen Shazam: Fury of the Gods? The latest Shazam Is that movie? the latest? No, because yeah. I got a little upset about his mentee breakdown um, <laughs> about John Wick 4 and not telling people not to go see it. <laughs> and I was like, sir, you really need to calm down, and now I'm not going to see Shazam for a while, even though I loved the first one. I'll see it. I think it was slightly edited the way that went down, but no, he's kind of a social media like, ah, like I'm always yelling. <laughs> it was like, John Wick 4, don't go see that, see Shazam. I haven't like, seen the oh full clip. Oh, my God, I wonder- sir. I've never commented on it because I don't know what the full clip of the context is. It was just kind of a lot. And I was like, listen, I think that the worst thing to do to promote your movie the week before is not to throw another movie under the bus and tell people Shazam is a family friendly movie. John Wick is not going to be that. It's just like and it's a far better movie. I swear (laughs) to you, he said he either said far better or and it's a better movie. And I'm like. I think you did say it's a better movie. I was losing my mind because, uh, number one, I'm like, I don't even know if he's seen it. And number two, you're having a mental breakdown by trying to get people to go see your film, by throwing another film under the bus. I don't enjoy any of this. He probably went through it, had a mental breakdown. Okay, I get it. You were losing it, and that's probably not you as a person. I did not enjoy it because you know how I feel about John Wick. I I think, though, that... You know, sometimes it is important in order to elevate yourself. You got to throw under other people under the bus. <laughs> under the bus, yep. 
John Humphrey's a, a big you've, piece of shit, guys. You've got to build yeah. your pedestal by walking on top of other people. If you make other people look less than, it yeah. makes you look, look better. More, look better. That's how. You, that's how you elevate yourself. This whole so. thing about like, if you try to elevate other people, it uh-huh. elevates you. <laughs> no. I could have really learned from that video. Then is what you're saying. You could have learned. Mad, I got that's mad why about it. Shazam: Fury of the Gods made a lot of money at the box office. Man. <laughs> the, Anyway, I brought up that movie because um, one of the criticisms, do you, you know the general concept of Shazam of how he says Shazam and he's a, he's a big boy's body, big guy's body? Yes. Yeah. So the, the one of the criticisms that's really been levied at it, haha, his name's Zach Levy, haha, that's funny. Um, but one of the criticisms that's been levied at it is that um, it doesn't seem like there's any real melding of the, of the two personalities of young boy Billy and old boy Billy. Oh. That he's just like, I'm playing a 15 year old doofus and then an old and a grown man's body. Like it feels like a completely different person. And that is not the case here. Like Jamie Lee Curtis really captured that youth, but really captured what Lindsay Lohan was going for and still making it her own as well without yeah. relying too much on an imitation. And I, I and she, she nailed that right off the bat. And I felt Lindsay Lohan, um, found her way into that as the movie went in a much yeah. smoother way to the point where I was like, oh, now I really believe her. So Especially I, yeah. if they sent each other li- like lines. Yeah, did they do I would that? Be like, I need to look send, that up. I, <laughs> I would be like, send me all the lines. I do not mind getting like a line reading and I'll make some of them my own. But if you can get a taste of like how she would say it, then you, I feel like if they did that, it's very smart because then you could really drop into the character if you're, you're hearing it, you're able to like repeat it and go like, okay, I feel like now I'm in Lindsay Lohan's body or vice, vice versa. Um, do people say vi- vice versa or vice versa? It's vice versa. Yeah. Vice, vice versa. I heard someone the other day, maybe they said that or said a different thing. I'm like, maybe I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Did they send each other tapes? I mean, now that I type it in, it's going to be a bunch of articles about God. freaking. Uh, we don't have time. I know. Hold on. Let me try one articles. more search. Jamie Lee like, Curtis, Freaky s- Fred. Sending, like, did they, like, Jamie Lee Curtis sending Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> Record. like, li- li- recording lines, Freaky Friday. I'm for, saying recorded lines for each other. other. Okay. Talk Freaky Friday. Come on, touch for a sequel, which Disney says is in the works. She already written to Disney. Everything's about the sequel. I know. I don't shut up about it. Like, it's stressing me out. Really just, like. Did they? You know what we could do? We could just look it up if it's a fact on IMDb. (laughs) Um, It's it's probably a a, a fun fact on IMDb. Oh, yes. Okay. Now let's just sift through these 335 facts. Quiet, Tara. (laughs) Where do you find them? Great idea. See, he doesn't even know where to find them. Where do you find them? He doesn't even know where to find them. You've been on IMDb. His idea. You know where they're located. Okay, wait, do I? They're like down. Hold on. They're like we go, somewhere it's here down, in this it's section. It's somewhere down. See? Did Genres, you know? And you go. Yeah, yeah, right here. Did you know? Trivia. Here we go. Which ass? Which booty? Um. Your prompt. Okay. That's funny. Originally, I did. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Jodie Foster. He's a shit. Jodie Foster. As a woman student of her performance, Mr. Bit is another character. Or Okay. Jamie Lee Curtis only had six days to prepare for the role of Tess. Damn. After Net Benning dropped out. Wow. Wow. That's insane. Great job. Um, okay. okay, maybe I made that up. <laughs> I really, I really thought up. that was a true thing. I don't know why I thought that. I don't see anything about it. There's nothing here. Maybe I was wrong. You guys let us know in the comments. Maybe they did, and we just didn't find it. What do you think Greg about Freaky Friday? <laughs> Leave your thoughts down below. Do you think Chad Michael Murray's creepy in this? Yeah, let us know. I certainly think so. Hey, let's do a patron of the day shout out. Michael B. Omni Media. He's got a really great reaction channel, closing oh. in on 50,000 subscribers. Well, there. well, well. Michael B., I would love to body swap with you for a day. So that way you can experience what it's like to run real rejects. It's tough. And then I would experience what it's like to run your channel and then watch as I take it to surpassing the real rejects and subscribers. Wow. In one whole day. One day. Showing 
my skills okay. as someone you- who reacts to stuff uh. <laughs> and what I'm capable of doing and instilling, I would literally save every aspect of your channel. He's literally going to be sitting in the corner drinking energy drinks, c- crying over the editing. Yeah. In the dark. And I'll be like, these views, because this channel has not been around as long, is not getting as many views right. as I'm used to getting. And he's, now I'm stressed out, Michael. He's going to have to see two therapists now. And then watch. What I would love to happen is then you're me on the channel. And then people are like, hey, Greg's different. I love this new <laughs> version of Greg. They love the new They love the new Greg a, a lot whoever better. Whoever you've turned into, Greg. This we love is, it. Never he is lose amazing. it. Amazing. <laughs> um, I, I would. I could. Ne- there. I want people to be like, "Wow!" I unsubscribed because I couldn't stand Greg anymore. Right. But whoever but then you, you get sh- new subscribers because the new Greg is. Mm. And then those subscribers who unsubscribe, they go. They return. Oh. oh, they return because new Greg is more enjoyable. They like the. Yeah, so yeah. they leave and they all come back. So you're you're basically at square square one. You're, yeah, you're good. Okay. And, and then my goal to grow your channel actually tanks and uh, loses twenty thousand subscribers. Oh, so instead. real reject is still standing. Real golden. reject is better than ever with new Greg because Michael yeah. is being Greg. And yeah. Greg being Michael has caused channel his channel his to fail, channel to, to just plummet. it's to plummet and Michael just he. I guess after the freaky Friday, yeah. Michael won't have a channel anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the real, the old real rejects will still be pumping them out, huh? Yeah. With the new Greg. Yeah. Okay. I don't like this idea. It's hurting my ego. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, you got to tear other people down and lift yourself up. Sure. Yeah. I mean, we all knew you, you needed a little help. It's like Greg is Greg right now. It's like, he's fine. Yeah. He could be like, a little bit better, right? A little, like, there's there's people that are there at agreeing right now. Like, you're, he's, I feel the stairs, and I am going, there's people back there going, yep, she's right there with me. Trust me, just like, uh, let it be, just like sitting it. You know what I mean? See what you've done. You have elevated yourself mm-hmm. by tearing me down. So that's why I feel so good right now. Now everyone's like, <laughs> I love Tara more. Yeah. She's a better person <laughs> and she knows more than you. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Feel great. Patron of the day, shout out. Uh-huh.